what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Roundup. As always, I'm David Cantu. Today we have some news regarding Hideo Kojima's next game and another spin-off from The Conjuring. Let's get started. Since the very nasty breakup between gaming icon Hideo Kojima and Konami, everybody's been wondering what Kojima's next move would be. As for Konami, nobody really gives a s**t. Dumb. Anyway, this week at E3, we were given the first taste of what Kojima has been cooking up, and it's called Death Stranding. The trailer is strange and sad and mysterious, and I loved every second of it. We're shown a whole bunch of dead crabs on a beach covered in black sand, with oily handprints starting to appear. They lead to a naked man covered in handprints on the floor, with handcuffs attached to one hand and a baby connected to him via some sort of electronical umbilical cord. He's on his knees and he picks the baby up and is revealed to be Norman Reedus. The man, not the baby, because that would be weird. Anyway, he holds the baby close to him and he begins to cry. Then the baby disappears and oily child-sized handprints start to appear on his legs and on the sand in front of him. He gets up and sees a crazy amount of sea life just dead everywhere with wires hanging out of him leading into the water and five weird humanoid looking figures up in the sky. The figures disappear and the trailer ends. My first thought after it was all over was what the hell did I just watch? So I watched it a few more times and even though my brain wants to say that this is a horror game, the general feel of it is that it's a science fiction thriller. And that's pretty much all the details that we have. I mean Kojima is pretty good at keeping everything very hidden but the clues that he does give out aren't easy to decipher. But people did notice something in a promo photo that may give us a lead as to what the game's about. If you look very closely at the tags around Reedus' neck, there's some equations there. According to Redditor Thomas146, these are the Schwarzschild radius and the Dirac equations. Those equations themselves have to do with quantum mechanics and black holes. Don't ask me to explain anything about them because it is way over my head. But it does give us a small hint at a greater story and that's definitely interesting. There's no release date just yet but you all know damn well that I'm going to be following this story. If you saw The Conjuring 2 recently then you know just how creepy The Nun was. It's basically the standout demon ghost thing of the film that terrorizes Lorraine Warren's visions. Much like the haunted doll Annabelle from the first film, The Nun's going to be getting her own spin-off film titled, well, The Nun. Annabelle really wasn't the best film, but it did do enough at the box office to get a sequel order that's going to be coming out in 2017, so why wouldn't they take advantage of that momentum? I said from the very beginning that they could make a franchise out of the Warrens and their creepy adventures, but I don't think that they need to make a spin-off movie for every ghost or demon in their films. I think I'd much rather go and see The Conjuring 3 than another side story. Will it earn a whole lot at the box office? Probably. Will people head out to the theaters to go see it? Most definitely. So already right there, there's enough reason for the studio to keep cranking these out. The only way that I think that these would stop is if there ended up being some sort of weird crossover element to them. Like The Nun vs. Annabelle or some weird crap like that. Either way, look for The Nun to be hitting theaters sometime late in 2017. So what are your thoughts on the trailer for Death Stranding? What about these Conjuring spinoff films? Do you think we need more of these? Let's discuss in the comments below. Click on Norman Reedus to subscribe to this channel, give us a thumbs up while you're there, and if you can't, share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching another episode of The Roundup. We'll catch you next time.